Colegio de San Juan de Latran (CSJL) is a private Roman Catholic Dominican institution of higher learning located in Intramuros, Manila, in the Philippines. The college was founded in 1620. Colegio de San Juan de Latran has the distinction of being the oldest college in the Philippines and the oldest secondary institution in Asia. It is owned and administered by the Friars of the Order of Preachers Dominicans of the Philippine Dominican Province. The school has produced Philippine presidents, revolutionary heroes, poets, legislators, members of the clergy, jurists, and it is also one of the only Philippine schools that has produced several Catholic saints who lived and studied on its campus. The school's patron saint is St. John the Baptist. The campus contains two statues, representing the two foremost alumni in the fields of secular and religious service, former Philippine President Manuel L. Quezon and Vietnamese Saint Vicente Lim de La Paz. Latran has programs in business, management, marketing, entrepreneurship, information technology, digital arts, communication arts, accountancy, engineering. The colleges are divided into six departments, College of Liberal Arts and Sciences CLAS, College of Business Administration and Accountancy CBAA, College of Education Coed, Institute of Communication ICOM, Institute of Information Technology IIT, College of Engineering Co. The Colegio has successful athletic programs, particularly in basketball, football, soccer, volleyball, taekwondo, and tennis. Through the years Latran has produced numerous athletes that have donned the national colors especially in basketball, in international events like the Olympics, Asian Games, Southeast Asian Games, Jones Cup, and FIBA World Championship. Latran is a longtime member of the National Collegiate Athletic Association. The Colegio was given Level 3 accreditation by the Philippine Accrediting Association of Schools, Colleges and Universities in the Elementary Department, the highest possible level for basic education, Level 2 for the High School Department, the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences CLAS, and the College of Business Administration and Accountancy CBAA. Latran remains in its original campus in Intramuros, Manila and is a member of the Intramuros Consortium. History. Beginnings The name San Juan de Latran is derived from the Basilica of St. John Lateran in Rome, considered as the Mother Church of Christendom. Early in the history of the Colegio, its chapel was granted many of the privileges enjoyed by the major basilica. St. John the Baptist, for whom the basilica is named, is the patron saint of the Colegio. The college was founded by Don Juan Jeremino Guerrero in 1620, a retired Spanish officer and one of the Knights of Malta, in Intramuros as Colegio de Niños Huérfanos de San Juan de Latran. The school was intended to educate and mold orphans to be good Christian citizens. Around the month of May in 1632, Fray Diego de Santa Maria, O.P., arrived at the Sto. Domingo convent from Spain via Mexico. He was officially assigned to this same convent on April 23, 1633 and was given the task of conventual porter. He founded the Colegio de Huérfanos de San Pedro y San Pablo. As Don Guerrero grew old, the two schools were fused together, and in 1706, the provincial chapter of the Dominicans in the Philippines decided to adopt officially the name Colegio de San Juan de Latran in memory of its first founder, Don Juan Alonso Geronimo Guerrero. 18th century In 1738, under the reign of King Philip V of Spain opened the Colegio de San Juan de Latran and University of Santo Tomas, and six scholarships were granted by the king for Chinese, Japanese, and Tonkinese Vietnamese students. Vicente Lim de La Paz, Latran's foremost alumnus and heavenly patron, was among the students who enjoyed this scholarship taking up trivium and quadrivium along with four Tonkinese namely, José de Santo Tomás, Juan de Santo Domingo, Pedro Martir and Pedro de San Jacinto. 19th century in May 1865, Latran was graded as a college of the first class by royal decree ordered by Queen Isabella II and, as a result, the school population rose considerably. In 1886, Rector Fr. Bernardino Nazaleda re organized the school's curriculum into the lower, middle, and superior grades infima, media y superior, to conform to modern European and American teaching patterns. 
20th century Further expansion took place in 1894 and adjustments were made with the arrival of the Americans in 1900. After celebrating its tricentennial, Latran was headed by the Rev. Fr. Martin Gwilett O.P., who was tasked with replacing Latran's old infrastructure and constructing a new and modern building. The new facilities were inaugurated and blessed by Rev. Fr. Martin Gwilett O.P. The new St. John the Baptist building became the Colegio's main building and facade. These events were followed by the construction of the elementary, high school and college buildings replacing the old structures respectively. The buildings were named after the Dominican founder and saints. World War II the growth of the Colegio was temporarily arrested when the building was bombed in 1941 and turned into a garrison by the Japanese Army in 1944. The Colegio was temporarily housed in the Dominican Church and Convent of San Juan del Monte. In school year 1942, classes were temporarily transferred to the Dominican Sanctuario of San Juan del Monte. After the war, Latran returned to its home in Intramuros and resumed operations in 1946. Several new construction projects were inaugurated to replace the old structures wrecked by the war. First Filipino Rector The first Filipino rector and president of the Colegio de San Juan de Latran was Fr. Isidro Catigbac O.P. who served for four straight years. Latran has served by the majority of Spanish rectors and presidents for over 400 years. Recent history the school began accepting female students in its college department in the 1970s while the grade school and high school departments started accepting female enrollees in June 2005. In April 2007, Fr. Tamerlane Lana O.P. was elected rector and president of Latran, of the Intramuros and Abacay campuses, by the Board of Trustees to serve a four year term until April 2011. Fr. Lana became the 80th rector of the Manila campus. Fr. Lana S. Administration has undertaken the task of changing and upgrading on the Colegio's academic standards to meet those required to attain university status. This work also includes the revision of the vision and mission, research development, community service, and the 12 year strategic plan for 2008 until 2020. The quadricentenary of the Colegio. In October 2007, two former Latran administrators were among the 498 Spanish martyrs beatified by Pope Benedict XVI. They are Fr. Jesus Villaverde Andres, op., a former rector, and Fr. Antonio Varona Ortega, op., a former professor and moderator of the NCAA Philippines, on July 3, 2008, Fr. Lana formally launched the Latran Center for Intramuros Studies LCIS. The initiative to establish the center sprang from the 12-year development plan as the school hopes to become a leader in cultural and historical studies, particularly on the subject of Intramuros. The day also marked the 435th anniversary of the signing of the Royal Decree by King Philip II in San Lorenzo, Spain on July 3, 1573 that prescribed the foundation of Hispanic colonial towns, which served as basis for the systematic layout for the establishment of Intramuros, which was known then as Spanish Manila, in April 2011, Fr. Tamerlane Lana O.P. was re-elected rector and president of Latran for a second term 2011-2015. In June 2015, Fr. Clarence Victor C. Marquez, O.P. was elected 81st Rector and President of Latran Manila and Bataan, 2015 to 2019. Campus. The Colegio is composed of seven buildings. Saint John the Baptist Building. Also known as the Administration Building, it houses the Office of the Rector and President. It houses the Admission Office, Financial Affairs Office, the Latran Center for Intramuros Studies Office LCIS, Guidance Counselor Office, the Information Technology Center, College of Business Administration and Accountancy, College of Education, and the Institute of Information Technology. The Bookstore, Lobby, Speech Laboratory, and Chapel are also in this building. The St. John Lateran Convent of the Latran Dominican Fathers is located here. 
Saint Dominic de Guzman Building The building who was named after the founder of the Order of Preachers, Dominicans. This building houses classrooms, science and psychology laboratory, College of Liberal Arts and Sciences and the Institute of Communication. St. Thomas Aquinas Building This building houses the Library and Media Center for Communication Arts students. The Media Center has two sections, Instructional Media and Broadcast Media. It provides human and material resources for instructional and broadcast purposes. Among the facilities are an audio-video library, viewing rooms, instructional media resources for circulation. Services include lending of instructional materials, rendering the execution of artwork, photo coverage and black and white photo developing and printing. For broadcast media facilities, the TV production studio, radio production and studio post-production. Services offered are audio and video production and editing, video coverage, etc. Several facilities are the Apple Mac Lab Editing Suite, TV Studio, Radio Mini Station and many more. The library is divided into sections Filipiniana section Circulation section High school library Graduate school library Media library Internet section Periodical section Archives section The St. Thomas Building has a television for televiewing purposes. St. Raymond of Penyaford Building This building is also known as the High School Building. St. Raymond of Penyaford houses the Office of the Vice Rector for Religious Affairs. It includes the accounting stock room, lost and found office, hospitality management facility, auxiliary services, audit services, Latran Alumni Association office, and the Center for Community Development office. The school clinic is in this building. St. Albert the Great Building this building is also known as the Student Center Building because it houses student facilities such as the canteens, a modern 400-seat auditorium, Office of the Student Affairs, Latran Student Council Office, the Graduate School Faculty Room and Student Lounge, six SC Classrooms, Thesis Section, the Lance Publication Office, and the Office of the Dean in Graduate School <laughs> Street. Antoninus Building <laughs> It holds the Latran's several computer laboratories for the information technology students in the Philippines. First Microsoft IT Academy. It also houses the IQUAME working room. The ground floor serves as the student lounge. St. Vincent Ferrer Building It serves as the elementary, senior high school. College of Engineering, Institute of Information Technology and houses the Music Room. Blessed Antonio Varona Gymnasium It is the home of the Knights and Squires, Latrans Collegiate and High School Varsity teams that play in the NCAA and other sports tournaments. Latran Gym has three physical education classrooms with a centralized air-conditioned unit. It houses the Latran Hall of Fame and the PE faculty. The Latran Gym is named in honor of Blessed Antonio Varona, a former Latran professor and athletics moderator. San Vicente Lean della Paz Dormitory The Dormitory of Latran Manila Academics College of Business Administration and Accountancy The College of Business Administration and Accountancy offers a wide range of business courses especially in management. Latran's CBAA was known as the flagship college of the institution. The college produced many alumni and students who excelled in the field of business, one of these is the prominent Filipino businessman Enrique Zobel de Ayala the first patriarch of the Zobel de Ayala family. College of Liberal Arts and Sciences 
Same as the CBAA, College of Liberal Arts and Sciences or CLAS is the flagship college offering courses in the Colegio. Its liberal studies program offers required subjects in the humanities, social sciences, natural sciences, mathematics, languages and health, and physical education. It also offers majors in communication arts, psychology, political science, AB advertising, AB public relation, AB journalism, and AB broadcasting. It likewise offers subjects required in all courses such as Seminar Workshop and Practicum SWP, Research Methods and Practicum RMP, where students are required to undertake on-the-job training and come up with a research paper thesis. Community service is given a central place in all courses. The CLAS also offers as part of its core curriculum subjects such as theology and other supplemental activities like parish exposure, retreats and recollection, community outreach program to our adopted communities. CLAS was accredited by the PAASCU in May 2005. The CLAS also has programs that focus not only improving research in the colegio, such as evaluation of the panel members, thesis advisors and even the defense proceedings to ensure quality research outputs by by our students. The Best Theses Awards program will be implemented this school year. Foreign languages as electives such as Mandarin, French, Spanish and Japanese are also offered in the CLAS. Members of the college's staff have been required to have master's degrees and are required to continuously improve themselves academically and professionally by attending seminars, workshops, conferences etc. and to participate in spiritual, social and cultural activities in and out of the colegio. The annual ECHO seminar organized by the CLAS is an opportunity for all faculty who had attended various activities outside to share their experiences and insights and give impetus to stimulating academic interactions among the faculty. Likewise, the faculty of each area are required to come up with an action research output presented in a colloquium spearheaded by the RPOD. Moreover, the faculty and staff had been encouraged to use technology as an educational tool in research, to facilitate effectiveness and efficiency in office operation and instruction. Institute of Communication the Institute of Communication, called ICOM, offers programs, several of which are considered as the flagship courses of the Colegio. For ten consecutive years, students of the Institute of Communication brought home awards from the Catholic Mass Media Awards and Metro Manila Film Festival for student categories. Latran ICOM students also won the Prominent Student Academy Awards, the IBDA Awards. The Institute was also awarded as School of the Year by the Philippine Quill Awards. And also, ICOM has been producing multi-talented students that excels inside the Colegio. College of Education The College of Education of Colegio de San Juan de Latran in Manila also serves courses for secondary education. The Co of Latran Manila also got 100% passing rates from the LET licensure examinations. College of Engineering The Colegio is aiming to help supply that demand by producing quality engineers who are also God-centered and patriotic. The College of Engineering is a separate college, with its own dean and faculty members. Like the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences and the College of Business Administration and Accountancy, engineering will be expected to project Latran's uniqueness and brand of excellence in the delivery of educational services to young people. The soon-to-be-offered engineering programs are meant to solidify one of the Colegio's thrusts, stated by Rector and President Rev. Fr. Tamerlane Lana, O.P. as to be attuned both with the present and with the future so that it can continue to move forward and remain relevant and responsive to the needs of the times. Institute of Information Technology The Institute of Information Technology of Latran Manila is the first recognized Microsoft IT Academy in the Philippines. It is one of the academic institutions that offers a degree in information technology mapped with the premier certification from Microsoft. Graduate School – Professional School for Continuing Education in Business The Latran Graduate School is located at the St. Albert the Great Building. 
basic education. The Colegio de San Juan de Latran in Manila has a basic education department that has been in existence for almost 400 years. The elementary level caters a two year start from preschool and six years of elementary, now forming part of the basic education department of the Colegio. The elementary level starts from the first two years of preschool, kindergarten, and preparatory, and six years of elementary education. The pupils in this department are called pages, the name given to those who are in the first stage of knighthood. Here, pupils are taught the basic rudiments not only of reading, writing, and arithmetic but also of other areas, which include character formation. The elementary department of Latran Manila is located at the St. Vincent Ferrer building. The high school department is in the St. Raymond of Penafort building. Athletics Latran is a member of the National Collegiate Athletic Association from 1928 to 1932, and since 1936, the Colegio currently participates in basketball, volleyball, football, soccer, track and field, taekwondo, lawn tennis, and table tennis. The varsity teams are called Latran Knights for seniors division, Squires for juniors division, and Lady Knights for women's division. The seniors basketball team is the second most successful team in the NCAA. Since joining in the 1928–29 season, the Knights have won a total of 17 titles. The most recent championship came in the 2015–2016 tournament, with a record of 13–5 in the eliminations, and 2–1 in the finals for an overall record of 15–6. Their most prominent rivals are the De La Salle Green Archers before the Green Archers left the NCAA, San Beta Red Lions, San Sebastian Stags and the Mapua Cardinals, their neighbor in Intramuros. Other campuses Colegio de San Juan de Latran, Bataan Reverend Fr. Rogelio Alarcon, O.P., former rector and president of Colegio de San Juan de Latran in Intramuros, Manila and an alumnus proposed the idea of having another campus in the north. Bataan was chosen. Initially, two sites were presented, Hermosa and Balanga City. Abacay came into the picture later, after three years in the conceptualization stage. By what could be described as heavenly intercession and providential twists, Abacay was selected. The community of St. John Lateran, the board of Colegio de San Juan de Latran and the Council of the Philippine Dominican Province approved the establishment of Latran Abacay in 1998. Construction started in 2000 in the 15-hectare area, donated by Mayor and Mrs. Liberato Santiago, Mr. and Mrs. Nicanor Soriano and Gov, and Mrs. Leonardo Roman. Views of the Manila Bay and the surrounding mountains, including Mount Samat, envelope the site. One of the main attractions of Latran Abacay is its relatively undisturbed natural area and environment. Preparations for the establishment of the Latran Abacay spanned over the terms of three Filipino Dominican provincials Rev. Fr. Querico Pedregosa, O.P., Rev. Fr. Ernesto Arcio, O.P., and Rev. Fr. Edmund Nant, O.P., an alumnus. Rev. Fr. Edwin Lau, O.P., former rector and president of Latran Intramuros spearheaded the overall construction of the building and the formulation of the guiding principles of the institution. The blessing and inauguration on June 4, 2006 coincided with the gathering of the priors and superiors of the Philippine Dominican Province. Bishop Socrates Villegas, D.D., also an alumnus, officiated the Eucharistic celebration and blessing. Latran Bataan produced its first batch of graduates in March 2010. Latran Bataan Science High School will open on June 2011. Colegio de San Juan de Latran, Laguna when government declared its policy of decongesting Metro Manila, the Dominican Province of the Philippines instituted a long-term plan which included the establishment of an extension school in Laguna was prepared by the Commission for the Planning of the Ministry of the Word, an 11-hectare tract of land along the foothills of the legendary Mount Makiling in Bukal, Calamba City, Laguna, was chosen as the site. The school was founded on March 11, 1979. Rev. Fr. Ramon Salinas, OP was the project director, Rev. Fr. Jesse Loret, OP served as the coordinator of student, personnel services, and Mr. Jose Marcelino, principal of the elementary department of Latran Intramuros, was the academic provost. 
Being an extension campus, Latran Calamba was placed under the supervision of Rev. Fr. Regino Cortez, op. the rector of Latran Intramuros. On August 7, 1986, Latran Calamba finally gained its autonomy from Latran Intramuros with the installation of Rev. Fr. Tamerlane Lana, op. as its first president and rector, with the school buildings still under construction. The first semester of its first school year saw Latran's pioneer instructors, most of whom commuted from Latran, Manila, and students holding classes at the rented half finished building of Laguna Poly Medic Center, Inc., now known as the PAMANA, to smoothen the school operations. Rev. Fr. Patricio Apa, OP, was designated the first director of Latran Calamba in 1980. Assisting him as the academic provost was Mr. Constanta Molina. The year 1981 saw the blessing of the four story main building, the three story engineering, elementary, high school building, and the shop. Various offices and services were expanded to ensure the implementation of the development plan and programs. The college departments had their first academic heads, ENGR. Dominator Chua for Engineering and Commerce, and Rev. Fr. Enrico Gonzalez, OP for Arts and Sciences, Latran Calamba graduates took the board examinations both in Mechanical Engineering and Certified Public Accountant Licensing exam with several of the Mechanical Engineering board passers landing on top positions. In 1987–1991, Latran placed 20th average ranking by the Professional Regulation Commission in the overall national passing percentage of mechanical engineers, ranking second in Region 4 in the 1987 ME board examination, last March 2010 Electronics Engineering Examination, 75% of those who took the licensure examination passed which edged up the 27% national passing rate. Colegio de San Juan de Latran, Pangasinan On August 8, 2014, Our Lady of Manawag College signed a MOA with Latran Manila, Latran Calamba, and Latran Bataan for the Latran system integration, and on September 6, 2014, the proposal of changing its name to Colegio de San Juan de Latran Manawag was unanimously approved by its Board of Trustees. It was on 3 October that Our Lady of Manawag College was officially relaunched as the Pangasinan campus of the college, and many activities were held in honor of the formal reopening under the banner of the CSJL. It is located in Manawag, within meters from the Dominican-administered municipal church and the town hall. Gallery Official Publications The Lance, the official student publication of Colegio de San Juan de Latran, Manila The Latran Scroll for the high school level Latran page for the elementary level Marala is the literary portfolio of the Lance Latran News for the Administration Nightline for Latran Alumni Association Luz y Saber, Latran Research Journal Letranense, Yearbook The Shield, the official student publication of Colegio de San Juan de Latran, Bataan The Squires Chronicle, the official student publication of the High School Department of Latran, Bataan, Ang Pahayonging Ingo, the official student publication in Filipino language of the High School Department of Latran, Bataan the Night, the official publication of the Collegiate Department of Latran Calamba the Squire, the official publication of the High School Department of Latran Calamba Ang Caballero, the official publication, in Filipino language, of the High School Department of Latran Calamba the Page, the official publication of the Elementary Department of Latran Calamba Barangay Latran, the official publication of the Administration and Academic Schools of Latran Calamba Liloc, Latran Calamba Research Journal. Notable alumni, Latran Manila, sources for the alumni list, https colon slash slash www.websitation.org slash query question mark Earl equals http colon slash slash www.geocities.com slash sinupin slash pinoy.htm and date equals 2009-10-26 plus 23 hours 0 minutes and 30 seconds http colon slash slash www.latronalumni.org slash awards underscore awardees. asp https colon slash slash web.archive.org slash web slash 20071120130909 slash http colon slash slash filipinafolio.com slash contetail.php question mark it equals 25 and it underscore app 2 equals 353 and it underscore app 3 equals 016748 
http colon slash slash www.letran.edu slash about slash letronites. php http colon slash slash www.letran.edu slash about slash presidents. php https colon slash slash web. archive. org slash web slash two oh oh seven oh two two four oh four three 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 six slash http colon slash slash library. Supremacourt.gov.ph slash index 4.php References External links Official website of Colegio de San Juan de Latran Intramuros, Manila Official website of Colegio de San Juan de Latran Calamba, Laguna Official website of Colegio de San Juan de Latran Abaque, Bataan Official website of Latran Alumni Association, Inc. Ex-Alumnos de Latran